Alright, so today, as you can see, I'm talking about Kings Island, and I'm going to break it down to a few parts on the history, milestones, the attractions, the events, and a survey of them. So, that being said, first thing we're going to talk about is parks history and milestones. Um, Kings Island uh, got its idea and was conceived in 1964 after a flooding at uh, Coney Island downtown, and um, in 1969, the TAP Broadcasting purchased um, uh, 1,060 acres of land in Warren County, Ohio for uh, $3.2 million for the property and building of one of the finest amusement parks in the country, Kings Island. On June 15, 1970, construction of Kings Island began, and on April 29, 1972, Kings Island opened to the public. On, in 1977, Scream and Demon debuted as the first forward and backward looping coaster in the United States. In 17, I mean in 1979, the Beast was unveiled and was the biggest, baddest, longest, fastest wooden coaster in the world. In 1981, the park introduced the Bat, which was the world's first suspended coaster, which uh, lasted two years due to some technical issues. And in 1982, Kings Island became the first amusement park um, to hold a winter event called Winterfest. Who was there for that event, or who knows anything about it? And it lasted a couple years and came back uh, later. But. And then in uh, 1984, King Cobra debuted as the first uh, stand-up coaster. And in uh, 1984, uh, again, the TAP Broadcasting sold Kings Island, Kings Entertainment Company. And in 1987, the Vortex was added and was the first roller coaster in the world to feature six inversions, so loops. And in 1987, again, um, before the season ended, Kings Island was sold for the second time uh, for three years to American Financial Corporation. In 1989, Waterworks was debuted uh, as a family water park. 1992, Kings Island was purchased by Paramount uh, for uh, $400 million. In 1996, Kings Island was unveiled the first uh, launch coaster, which is uh, the Outer Limits Flight of Fear. July 8, 1999, Kings Island revealed plans to build the Sun Beast roller coaster, which claimed several world records, including the tallest, fastest, and only looped coaster in the world. 2000 Fear Fest premiered, 19, uh, uh, 2001 actually, I got that date wrong, but Kings Island introduced Delirium, the world's first frisbee ride. In 2004, Waterworks changed its name and expanded to Boomerang Bay. June 30th, 2006, Kings Island and the four other Paramount Parks were sold to Cedar Fair. 2007, Halloween Haunt um, replaced Fear Fest, adding more and better attractions. 2009, uh, Diamondback, the tallest, fastest roller coaster ever to strike Kings Island, was revealed. 2010, the Peanuts took over the park uh, following the success of the uh, Nickelodeon universe. And in 2013, the Banshee was unreal, uh, unveiled as the world's longest inverted coaster. In 2015, Kings Island received its fifth golden ticket for the kids' zone. Um, golden tickets are pretty big. Uh, for attractions and stuff, so that's a big deal. And they also added the area's largest Starbucks, so that's pretty cool. And then for 20, okay, yeah, yeah. In 2016, the park will expand its Soak City Water Park, adding a, um, I believe it's six slides or something like that, and it's really tall, um, um, seven stories high, so that's pretty cool. And then they're going to be expanding their entrance, so. Then going on to the park's attractions, like I said, uh, Plant Snoopy, their kids area, features many attractions including the Boo Blasters on Boo Hill, um, Dark Ride, where you get to shoot these little ghosts and stuff. And then there's these different attractions uh, that have been through the park since the park began, uh, such as the carousel, um, that little helicopter ride, different things like that. And like I said, 15 years of a golden ticket, that's an honor. And then you got your thrill rise. You got your um, flight of fear. You got your bat, the newer version of it. Uh, Beast, just to name a few, and Banshee, 
all these different record breaking coasters that set the parks away from the others. And then you got your um, Soak City Water Park, um, which has many different water attractions. And then also the park features many uh, different events throughout the year, including Food Truck Festival, where they have all these different food trucks come in and sell their goods and food and stuff. And then you have Spirit Song, which is a huge Christian uh, concert thing where they bring in some of the top Christian artists to perform during the week. Then they have Reds Week, where they bring in the players and the mascots to uh, promote, I guess, the Reds and do different activities concerning that. Soak City's um, dive-in movies, where they show different movies. This past year, they showed Frozen. Obviously, you got to show Th Frozen. <laughs> Help us all. Um, they showed Grease. They showed all these different family movies. So. Then you have Dog Days, which is uh, where you get to bring your dog. I'll talk about that more, and then you have those other ones. So right now, the park is currently hosting the Halloween Haunt event, which uh, is from September 25th to Halloween. And it features these attractions. And then on every Saturday and Sunday until November 1st, the park has Snoopy's Halloween Party, which is for families. And then they have Dog Days, like I said. You get to bring your dog to the park every Sunday in October, so that's pretty cool. And this year, their newest attraction is Blackout, which you go through this maze in pitch black darkness, and you have to feel your way through the maze. So it's awesome. I want to visit before the season's over. So, And I took this survey, and here's what the, the largest fan base of Kings Island has to say. They said their favorite attractions were the Beast and Banshee. Their favorite kids' um, layover was um, the Hanna-Barbera Land, which featured like Scooby-Doo and all that. Soak City attraction, the Monsoon... Um, Mandu Man Monsoon, or however you say it, is that big, Maybe huge frisbee. Yeah. Awesome. Then you have Slaughterhouse's favorite attraction. Some beast and fam should come back, and they want to get rid of Inverco. So that's Kings Island, and that's my speech.